The PS5 sucks. Okay, now on to more important business. The debate last night was awesome. Donald Trump wrecked Kamala Harris. He showcased why the MAGA party is so strong. He really stuck it to her and demonstrated why he is going to be our next president of the United States. Of course, the last election was rigged, but hopefully we can overcome that this time. And if not, uh, we're going to have to overthrow the government and do whatever, do whatever it takes to abolish immigration, remove women's rights, and just all around uh, make society a better place, right? And again, it all begins here. Actually, no. Uh, it, this has been a long time coming. Uh, it's safe to say that people are beginning to rise up against the political establishment. People are beginning to notice the basic patterns. People are beginning to notice that uh, something is amiss in society. And uh, people are beginning to come to some really uh, radical solutions, right? There is uh, simply nothing that they, meaning the Jews, can do to stop what's coming at this point. And that's been evident for a very, very, very long time. You know, all their methods of control are falling apart. They essentially just have an um, enslaved, lazy demographic, uh, 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 an enslaved, lazy cattle population that won't do anything to defend themselves, that keep making excuses for them, uh, for other people, uh, because it's easier, right? Like, no, trans transgender women are women. Oh, uh, immigrants don't make my life worse. Like, <laughs> ra race, is, race isn't a real thing. Like, you know, they just keep blustering, you know, refusing to face reality. That's, uh, and that's the, the current situation, is that we have, um, the way it looks now is that uh, people are genuinely culturally suicidal, right? They don't want to address very real problems. They want, they don't want to address racial differences or, or just the reality of what they're going up against, because they know that if they try to do that, people are going to try to come after them. And, uh, it need, we need to get to that point where people no longer fear that happening. Now, things are still going to happen to you. They're still going to come for you, but you shouldn't fear that when it happens, right? Again, you need to start really sticking it to these, pop, uh, to these people. You really need to stop acting as if like uh, they have control over you, as if like this is something you want. Right, you need to start standing up for yourself, and until that happens, like on mass, right, until we like get a significantly uh, bo uh, a significant boost in the red pilled population, like we're still stuck in this rut where people are seriously trying to convince themselves that like oh voting is gonna help, like no, like that's that's not gonna fix the problem. Like what needs to be done is that you need to take responsibility for yourself and your own community. And the way it looks now, I just don't see that happening with um, with anyone outside of like my, my uh, core circle, right? Like to me, it just feels as if like people want um, whites to suffer and uh, to be oppressed and to be ruined. And that is something that we need to acknowledge as a culture is completely disgusting and makes no sense. You know, when you straight up have like fat fucking retards go up on stage, you know, uh, so allegedly to mourn the loss of your son at the hand of a, uh, of a Haitian immigrant, like when you have those people going up there and being like, I, I wish it was a white guy who killed him so, so people could stop talking about race. Like, <laughs> we're all one race, the human race. Like, Come on. Come on. Nobody cares. Okay? <laughs> like, like, again, nobody who is listening listening to you talk about this wants to hear you uh, lament the fact that people are blaming Haitian immigrants 
for killing your son because that's what happened, okay? No matter how much you bluster, no matter how much you sell out your own dead child, right? No matter how much you cry, people aren't going to respect you. And people are, I think, beginning to notice the patterns, right? People are beginning to notice that, like, all of this is really artificial and fake. You know, people, uh, you know, I saw more than one comment bringing up the fact that, like, the feds actually pay visits to uh, victims of, uh, to the families of victims of, of illegal, of illegal crimes and, like, course them into, like, making these politically correct statements, right? Like, again, this needs to stop, you know? That that father should be tarred and feathered for what he tried to do, right? That was absolutely disgusting. And I'm sure Aiden, you know, his son, is, like, embarrassed by it, you know? <laughs> I'm sure he's, like, I'm sure being a dead child, he would want revenge against the people who killed him. How dare you speak out against... <laughs> your own son's interests right that's that's where we're at now you know that that's the current state of things is that uh the boomers constantly sell out the next generation in order to continue uh pushing this farce right that like we're all equal and we're all the same and it isn't true it never will be true um it was never true like uh it's not true now you know, no matter how much, like, they try to indoctrinate people, because I've seen this happen, you know, I know how much I was undermined by everyone around me, I saw how, like, uh, people around me were propped up, you know, I saw how that happened, and what, and what did that result in, you know, me becoming more successful than any everyone else, purely because I actually showed up to work and worked, you know, like, as opposed to, everyone else just kind of like you know taking everything they have for granted right you know Haitians are, are apparently making like uh are being given like thousands of dollars to live in Springfield without working right so you know they're, they're being given cars and like driver's license and stuff like that like it's not gonna make these people successful is uh the reality that I think is becoming really a apparent with like this um with the third world coming to the, the first world thing is that like uh, these people are entirely reliant on the system and that is not going to create a strong capable populace it's uh it is going to collapse among itself eventually and i do think we're in the early stages of that where it is becoming very important uh, very clear to anyone who isn't a complete fucking retard that uh the great replacement is not a good thing.